Hello Gown, so happy for you to watch this tutorial today and learn how to replace your background in photographs. The tutorial that I'm going to show you is the replacing of a sky with some clouds. You can do this for any type of photograph. You're simply going to be selecting your background and replacing it. There's a couple methods to doing this, some that I prefer, some that work better on one photograph versus another, but I'm going to show you those two. The first one, we need to grab a new sky. So I'm just going to pick one from the Color Veil Cloud Overlay set, which we're going to use regular, and I'm just dragging it and dropping it into Photoshop. It's going to place it directly on the image. I'm just going to resize it. Photoshop does a default size when it drops or places images over. And this is fine. We're just going to hold down our shift key. We want to keep the image proportionate. And we're going to just lift it up and then click enter or the check mark up on your toolbar. Where you place this isn't going to matter as of yet. I am going to just pull it up a bit. Now you need to change your background into a layer. Backgrounds are locked. There is a little lock key over here. This allows you to not be able to do manipulation to it. So you simply double click on the background. It asks to turn it into a new layer. You can rename it and click OK. Now that we've done that, we're now going to pull our original image over the clouds so that we can work on the selection of the sky that was there and place a new one. This photo is fine and doesn't need a new sky, but it's a great um, way to show you with trees in the background how you can um, make this appear realistic. So the first method that I'm going to show you is by using the color range. You have a color range tool up at the top of your toolbar if you click select. When you pull up the color range, the white is what it's going to select and the black is what it's not going to select. We want white to be in the area we want to get rid of. So we want to get rid of the original sky. So we're going to hold down our shift key. Holding down the shift key allows you to get more than one point. At this time, you can see there is white to gray. So we need to hold down our shift key and click in the area of the photo where it was appearing gray. You need to click around many of the places so that you can ensure you're getting all of the sky. Once you've done that, you'll notice that also there are some white areas in the photograph. We don't want to take those away. The computer is recognizing that there's other white spots in this image and it will take those away as well. That's fine. We're just going to click OK now that we know that the entire sky is white and we'll work on getting rid of all of the areas that were selected in the other portion. What you're going to do is grab one of the lasso tools. This way you can select all around the image. You are going to hold down your Alt key or your Option key. Click one point to start. Click as you move around. And what we're doing is selecting all of the image other than the sky. Because holding down this Alt or Option key is a minus. It takes away from the selection. Now we're left with a selection of just the sky. What you need to do is click on the layer mask button. You have a layer mask button and this is so that you can mask away portions of the photo. We want to mask away this original sky. So we're going to pick the layer mask and what it originally does is shows what you've selected and hides the rest of it. You quickly just invert that by doing Command or Control and the letter I for invert. So now you're done and you can see that you have the new cloud behind it. This is when you can go to your Move tool and pull it so that you can make the clouds wherever they best fit your photograph. If for some reason the edging is not perfect, it's not as smooth as tr the transition that you want, you just click your layer mask again you get a paintbrush and we're going to start with white. We're going to get a low opacity and we're going to just paint in a little bit more of those tree edges. I have a large brush because I'm, I want to feather it, gradually feather that. When you're working with cloud overlays, you, you do have that little bit of forgiveness because a cloud or a sky 
gradually gets darker so you can get rid of some of it right at the tree line. You can come in and get a smaller brush and brush right around any areas that really seem to be bothering you. And that is one of the ways. You can also change the opacity of your cloud layer to lighten it, darken it, or even flatten it and then colorize the whole photo so that it has a very um, similar feel going through it. One other option that you have is to go over to your filter. You can click on the Gaussian blur. Sometimes clouds have a, a nice blur and turn up that blur to give it a natural feel. So part two, I will show you how to make some other changes. Thank you so much for watching.